What's going on YouTube? Gbone1 here, and today I'm bringing you a very special glitch that just uh, came out for GTA Online, and this is actually pretty unique. So before I get started, if you could drop a like, I really do appreciate it, it really does help me a lot, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more GTA 5 content. So what this glitch is about is being invincible completely online. Um, it's pretty cool, I'll get into the effects later, but this is how you do it. You go to the strip club, and you have to pay $40 to get a private dance from a stripper. And you just follow her, and as you follow her, you bring up one of your missions on your phone, one of the contact missions. As you can see, I brought up Lester. So, this is something, it's all about timing, but if you go past that blue wall to the right that she just passed, then you have to hit X, basically. So, it's all about timing. As you see, I hit it right there, and it'll load me into the, uh, the lap dance, and then into the job. As you can see, after a few seconds, you can quit. You will respawn with no head, as you can see here. It will take away any mask. Um, but from here on out, you're done. You're invincible. Uh, you just run away. Your head will come back, and you can use all your guns. Uh, you can drive any car you want. You can do everything. Uh, the only problem, though, with this glitch is you cannot open your interaction menu. Meaning you can't kill yourself. You can't put your mask back on. All that. I've yet to try going to the mask store to see if you can actually put your mask on through that method, but I'm not sure yet. So uh, give that a go. Um, I'll probably update the video a bit and tell you guys that later. But um, yeah, you can basically do anything. You can go underwater. You can um, get shot by the cops. You can blow up in a plane. You can skydive with no parachute. Um, you can't, like, you survive everything everything it is pretty amazing um, before anyone gets on to the fact that you know I'm uploading one of those glitches that does ruin GTA online well don't sit there and bitch that I'm ruining GTA online and then go and use the glitch because we all know you're going to do that so don't go and do that like I am not promoting this glitch at all in a negative way I'm promoting it so you can have fun with it and I don't mean have fun in killing everybody and just ruining everyone else's experience I'm also uploading this so you know it informs everyone of what's out there I mean I'm not the only youtuber uploading this so if you're gonna bitch at me you gotta bitch at everyone else alright so the the only other flaw of this um, is I don't believe you can actually use explosives on yourself uh, I put a sticky bomb down and I killed myself and that yeah that ruined the glitch so the only ways to get out of this glitch are leaving the session blowing yourself up which I'm not sure if it works with the cars or anything that you do yourself I'm not sure about that um, I believe le yeah leaving the session blowing yourself up and going into a cinematic cutscene like uh, going inside your garage or going inside your apartment I believe this would work with anything really um, so yeah have fun with this glitch guys I really hope you enjoy it um, I know I'm gonna enjoy it uh, but please don't go around trolling people don't go around messing with people because you do then Rockstar will you know start going out of their way to fix this in the next patch and then people are gonna start bitching and saying oh you're the reason why blah 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 was delayed you're the reason heists are delayed you're the reason 1.17 is delayed don't go around abusing this glitch because it like that's really what gets GTA Online glitches are fun glitches are awesome to use just don't use them in a negative way you guys so I'm not really sure what else I can say about this glitch except have a lot of fun guys I know I did and I currently am right now um, it's very easy to do, and don't come back and saying it's patched or that it's um, not working. Just watch the video again and try again. It's not my fault if you can't do it correctly. It's all about the timing. It honestly took me more than one try to do it. I had at least six or seven tries before I realized I actually uh, did something wrong and or I blew myself up thinking the glitch was going to make me survive. But anyway, it's been G-Bone 1, and I'm out.